Hi guys, Dr. Charles Chabert here, urologist and director of the Prostate Clinic. Uh, today's video is going to concentrate on erectile dysfunction. And so I really wanted to break down some of the barriers with that conversation and highlight in today's video in particular, uh, the basics that you need to be aware of with regard to erectile dysfunction. There will be some additional videos that will follow this one that will look at how we can prevent the development of erectile dysfunction and also treatment choices that we have for managing this condition. I think at the outset it's really important to be aware that you are not alone with this condition and that there are a variety of different treatment pathways available for men if they experience a varying degree of erectile dysfunction. So let's begin. What is it? In essence, erectile dysfunction is defined as an inability to obtain or maintain an erection that is sufficient for sexual intercourse. And it's more common the older we get. In fact, there are approximately 20% of men over the age of 20 that do describe some degree of erectile dysfunction. The older we get, the more common the condition is. And approximately 50% of men over the age of 40 will report a degree of erectile dysfunction. So the process, the physiology behind developing an erection, in essence, there are a variety of different stimuli that can be what we see, what we feel and touch, what we smell, but there's a variety of different sexual stimulus that causes dilatation of the blood vessels that supply the penile tissue. As those blood vessels dilate, more blood flow gets into the penis, and the simplest way to think of the penis is it's a little bit like a sponge with an outer sheath around it. The blood vessels open in response to stimulus, more blood heads into the penis, the penis begins to swell, and the limitation on that swelling is defined by this outer sheath of the penis. More blood goes in than blood comes out, and as those blood vessels swell and the tissue expands, the veins that drain the penis are compressed, and so there's engorgement of the penis and the erection takes place. In simplistic form, there are two main types of erectile dysfunction. There is psychogenic and there is organic. By psychogenic, I mean that uh, individuals may have had a previous experience that they found uh, traumatic or stressful that was related to sexual function and in years to come they may experience that same stressful feeling. The body responds physiologically to that and produces more adrenaline and more noradrenaline which has the opposite of the desired effect. These hormones cause constriction, vasoconstriction of the blood vessels that supply the penis and can make it harder for men to have an erection at that time. Far more common than psychogenic erectile dysfunction is something called organic erectile dysfunction. And the organic form is related in the majority of people to changes in blood flow. That erectile dysfunction happens when there is a problem with that process. And there are different conditions that affect the male body that increase the likelihood of erectile dysfunction happening. There are three main causes. Number one is diabetes which can be type one or type two. And you may have heard in the media the increased incidence of type two diabetes. There are vascular causes and there are other causes, most notably medication or neurological condition. If we break it down, 40% of people that have erectile dysfunction have some kind of vascular disease. Around 30% of individuals will have diabetes. 15% it will be a byproduct of medication. And then there are other causes such as surgery or radiotherapy or neurological conditions that can contribute. To so as you can see, there are a variety of different conditions that can result in individuals having erections that aren't as good as they used to be. I hope this video helps. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications so you stay up to date with all of our latest videos. I'll see you next time.